Mama always gives me boiled eggs in the morning. You know, that is very good for health. It gives us lot of proteins. But I don't like removing the cover of the egg. Hmm. Oh, you know, egg is like our earth. Earth? How? Yeah, earth is like an egg. Let me show you. You see this outer layer? This is like earth's crust. Yes, crust is the upper layer of the earth, where we all live. So, all trees and animals live on crust of the earth? Yes, you're right. All animals and trees live on earth's crust. <coughs> crust, outer layer of the earth. Oh, this is the other layer of the egg. This is second layer of the egg. In earth also, there's a second layer. What is it called? It is called mental. <coughs> mental. Second layer of the earth. Oh, this is the other layer of the egg. Yes, like egg. Earth also has another layer. It is called core. Core? It is called the core. It is the innermost part of the earth. <coughs> core. Innermost part. Of the earth. Let me show you something. Here is a pear. Let us look inside it. Hey, see, it also looks like the earth. Yes, see, the skin is like crust. Inside pole is like mantle. And the seed is like core. I have a question. How do we know what is inside the earth? If nobody has gone there, you're right. Have you heard about volcanoes? Yes, when earth cracks and lot of hot liquid and smoke comes out. Let me show you something. Oh, we're making a volcano here. Hey, why are you shaking it? Oh, to create air pressure inside the bottle. Wow, it is like volcano. How it happens? You know, there are gases inside the earth and lot of hot melted metals. Yes, because temperature inside earth is very high. Everything melts. Yes, this melted hot material is called magma. <coughs> magma. Oh, there are gases inside the earth. They are very hot. But how does it come out? My magic wand would show this. Oh wow, this is a balloon. Let's keep it in sunlight. Let's see what happens inside the balloon. Hey, the air inside the balloon is getting hotter. And the molecules are running away from each other by heat. Yes, they are putting pressure on the balloon's outer layer. Yes, this layer of balloon is like crust of the earth. Yes, you're right. Gas from inside is putting pressure on the crust. And this has burst and air has come out. That is how volcano happens. Let me show you a small video. Oh, this red color liquid is lava. Yes, it is magma when it is inside the earth. And it is called lava when it comes out of the earth. Scientists study this lava to understand what is inside the earth. Okay, so from lava, we can know what is inside the earth. Let us learn more about earth. Oh, this is our earth. Yes, can you tell me? What is the blue part on the globe? Oh, this shows oceans, seas and rivers. You know, 70% of area of the earth is covered with water? Yes, there is more blue color on the globe. Yes, most of it is the ocean. Oh, now I know about water. Can you tell me about air or not? <coughs> blue color on globe shows water on earth. Let us learn more about air on the earth. Wow, it is a pizza. I love it. 
Yeah, let me tell you about the air on the earth with this. Air on earth with pizza? Yes, you know, there are many types of gases which mix the air around earth. Many types like? Yes, think that this whole pizza is equal to total air. Let me now cut it. Oh, it is a very small part. Yes, it is about 20% or one-fifth of the whole pizza. It is oxygen. Oh, the oxygen which we breathe. Yes, now let me cut one more part. Oh, it is very small, very tiny. Which gas is this? These are many gases like argon, carbon dioxide. Now, so much pizza is left. Which air is it? It is nitrogen. 77% of air in atmosphere is nitrogen. <coughs> air is made up of several gases. Oxygen, 21%. Argon, carbon dioxide, neon and others, 2%. Nitrogen, 77%. Now we would see different layers of atmosphere. Wow! I want to eat it. You can eat it. But first, let us understand air in the atmosphere of the earth. There are five layers of atmosphere. Like five layers of this burger. This is the top layer. Air is very thin here. <coughs> Exhaust here. Very thin air. Very low pressure. This is called thermosphere. So satellite fly in this layer. Yeah, you are very smart. <coughs> thermosphere. Satellites fly here. This layer is called mesosphere. Oh, airplanes fly here. No, hot air balloons go up to this layer. <coughs> mesosphere. Hot air balloons. Fly here! This layer is called stratosphere. Oh, aeroplanes fly here. No, aeroplanes don't fly here. To see where airplanes fly, we need to come to other layer. <coughs> stratosphere. Oh, this is the last layer. So, aeroplanes fly here. <laughs> yes, air here is heaviest. This layer is called stratosphere. Here, where we live, aeroplanes fly here. So, air is heaviest at bottom layer and thinnest at the top layer. Yes, see this chart. Air pressure is high at bottom layer and is very low at the highest layer. Yes, air molecules are close to each other at bottom layer and they are very far in upper layer. You're right. That is why air is lighter at the top and heavier at the bottom. Why light air goes up and heavy air comes down? We would see this with an experiment. Oh, it is some experiment. Yes, it shows that heavier things settle down. Let me put all things in this jug. Oh, stone would settle down as it is heaviest. Let me put the water and tea in this jug. Now you know why heavy air settles in the bottom layer and light air goes up.